So, good morning. Today we have a smaller repair here on my car. And in the last week, what happened is my SRS light comes on for about one to three seconds and then it goes back off and I get the error code for the driver's side airbag. So, for my steering wheel. There is a slip ring in here which connects the horn switch and the ABS airbag, uh, not the ABS, the SRS airbag to the rest of the car through a slip ring which is located right underneath here. And it means I have to take this off, inspect it, and then take the steering wheel off and take a look at the brushes and see what the slip ring looks like, if it is dirty or if the brushes are worn out. And that's what we're gonna do. And you can see this, I'm seven miles short of uh, 342,000 miles. And that is to be expected with a high mileage car. In order to get the airbag out, the easiest way to do this or to remove the steering wheel is with a T30 type of screwdriver like this here, four inches long. That will reach the two screws and then you can just pop this whole unit out and you can reach the screw you need to release, release to get in there for the uh, to get the steering wheel out. That will be part two. Okay, so we got the 10 millimeter in here. It's a, a hex, not hex key, uh, what do you call them? Uh, the, uh, aye, aye, aye. See, it starts in the morning. Well, anyway, it's a 10 millimeter. We're gonna get this unscrewed. I have the battery disconnected and the wet connector, I put that back there, is disconnected also here for the moment. To be safe, you always wanna do that. And now we're gonna take the steering wheel out. So now we can see here on the slip ring, let me zoom in, that we have the old grease on here and that left the trail. You can see this right here on the inner wing, right on the contact. And this is actually what the contacts look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up and make this nice and shiny. And we put new contact grease on there. And then we're going to reassemble it and that should fix the problem. So we got this cleaned up here. And I just checked the manual. This is all dirt. There's no grease supposed to be on here. These four contacts here is for the horn. The two inner ones are the ones for the um, uh, airbag. So the airbag has these two here, this here and this here and these here are for your horns, for your horn assembly. And that's the outer rings and the inner rings, the one which was dirty, that's the one which was causing the problem. And you can see this, this thing is actually still smooth and I got all of the dirt off. Let me see if we can see this now. This should be fine now uh, without any further problems and no contact grease. That just needs to be thoroughly cleaned and these here need to be in a good shape, which they are. And I don't know, they didn't publish a measurement for those, but you can see this, they're freely moving in and out. So the spring tension is good. They come out, all of them. And so that's all, they're all equal. They all feel the same. So that's all good. Then we can reassemble it and get it back on the road. Just as a reminder, this bolt here uh, goes to a hundred Newton meters um, torque. So that's what we got to set it for. The SRS uh, unit control unit is underneath here, underneath the ashtray and it uh, resets itself. So when the arrow goes away, the light will go out automatically and you can clear the coat out through your diagnostic plug in the front. I'm not gonna show that because that is a self-resetting coat for this here. So there's nothing we have to do to it, okay? Uh, we will see you in a minute. Okay, so we got it all screwed back together here in one piece. Let me see. And we have no more arrow. So now you start the car up. I have low, low fluid and I got my parking brake set. 
So now the light is not coming on and we're going all the way through. So we're pretty good here. That's our first second. So we're good here at the moment. And that repaired our whole situation here. Have a great day. Okay, so I reset this thing here. Let me just see. I have to wriggle on this here. No, it's still. Here we go. Now we got it released. So we're doing pretty good here. I got my water filled up. And you can see this, I'm idling a tad bit higher because I had the electronics disconnected with the battery. So now this has to go back to the God knows how many stops. That's the AC coming in. The compressor is running and now it's starting to blow. Hopefully cold air, no it will. But that's basically it. Well, we got our horn working, both directions. So that should have fixed this here. Let me go into gear. There we go. Yeah, now she's staying down. So everything is good here. Um, where we are, the um, economy gauge shows, this is something I have learned now on these older cars. So there's a little bit of a load on it is if the air compressor is on at the low RPM, which is of course understandable. Since you're using more gasoline and the economy is not as good as you're not running the air conditioner. That was just a addendum to this, but this is basically where we are. Not bad for 342,000 miles. You guys have a great day.